Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren, and my call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to modify your band edges on your ICOM IC7300. Stay tuned. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push menu, set, functions, and band edge beep. Currently the default setting is on. I want to select that and choose on user and transmit limit. Page two of nine, we're going to select the user band edge. Currently there are eight pages and those are the the frequency band edges and it's set for an extra class privilege. So what I'm going to do since I'm an advanced class licensed amateur, I'm going to look at my US amateur band plan from the ARRL and put in my frequencies of my privileges. For the 160 meter band for my class license advanced it's 1.8 through 2.0. So they have 1.999 on here. Uh, you can modify that by just pushing that field and see, hey, it's 1.8, push enter. And then if you were to push the two megahertz, two zero 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 zero, enter, it's actually gonna default to that frequency. So no bother in changing it, that's fine. Okay, under the 80 meter band, my privileges for advance, it's 3525. So right here they have 3.5, that's an extra class. So in order to modify that, you're going to click on that and then plug in the frequency 3525. 3525000. Push enter. And there's a break. The CW band and the digital band is from 3525 all the way through 3600000. Okay, push enter. Okay, that's the digital and CW band portion. Now, there's also a SSB portion, so you have to go in order, and I'm gonna click on this one, hold it, and I wanna insert a new line. This will be the 80 meter voice band. For the advanced class license, it begins with 3700000, enter, and to 4000 enter. So that's how you do it to add your band edges and also if you go out of the amateur radio band it will prevent you from transmitting. Now to delete I don't have uh, amateurs in the US don't have this privilege on 5 megahertz so to delete that one you just press and hold and delete. Now it's gone. Okay, one more time, on the 40 meter band, my class license is advanced and it starts from 7.025. I'm gonna modify this. 7.025.000, okay, enter. And then the, that, goes all the way to 7300, so that's fine on the 40 meter band. And do the same process for the 20 meter band, 15 meter band, and so on. Let me demonstrate you the transmitting out of band protection. So I got the RF power to zero. Like I said, I'm an advanced class license and for 20 meters, my phone privilege is 14175, 
through 14350. If you see the transmit here, I can transmit and I also have the red transmit light. So I'm transmitting within my band. So if I were to go to below 14175, for example, 14174, you hear the relays clicking in the background in the ICOM 7300, but you got a dotted line on the transmit and when you try to key up on a transmitter, it doesn't transmit. So it gives you a protection to, to save your license, um, making sure that you're transmitting within your privileges. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video and learned something about the ICOM 7300 in modifying your band edges. If you like my video, please subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment, Please share my videos with your other ham radio friends. My name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. Have a great day.